I'm so grateful that they put it up to the brim. Because you know when you get like a bag of chips and it, it's just a bunch of air and then sometimes you get hair products and they're not like filled up to the top. Like I want my full eight ounces. And So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be trying the Camille Rose Coconuts Penetrating Hair Treatment. It's a long name, but this is a deep conditioner I'm going to be trying for today. I went to the Ubiquitous Women's Expo, as you guys know, and I bought a bunch of products. So I'll be doing a lot of product reviews, and I picked up this deep conditioner because I know a lot of people love this deep conditioner. I know You Love Megs so was doing like a deep condition and chat video, and she was using this, and she really liked it. So I was like, you know what? Let me pick it up. It does have coconut water in it, and you know back in like 2012, 2010 era, like coconut oil was the craze. So I'm hoping that this does amazing for my hair. And I definitely appreciate the fact that they filled it up. I don't know if you can tell, but they filled it up to the brim. Like, thank you for giving me a good amount. Now it looks like I did use a little bit right here, but I didn't, it just kind of shifted around. But I'm so grateful that they put it up to the brim. Cause you know when you get like a bag of chips and it, it's just a bunch of air and then sometimes you get hair products and they're not like filled up to the top. Like I want my full eight ounces and this is my full eight ounces. So the smell, it definitely does smell like coconut oil. So, or like coconuts I should say. So that's good. Cause you definitely know that coconuts are high up. Cause I feel like sometimes you get a product and they don't smell look like anything that the product they're advertising and coconut water is the second ingredient and coconut oil is definitely up there too and they definitely have aloe vera juice which you guys know i love as well so i'm definitely excited about this it has a lot of good ingredients in this so definitely check out the website if you want a full list of all the ingredients but i'm going to stop talking because i want this video to be nice quick and short so we're just going to apply the deep conditioner in sections and my hair is fully shampooed and i use the main choice ancient egyptian shampoo because i really do love that shampoo so and let's just get into applying this deep conditioner sections of my hair as you can see and it is a little bit different than the last hair review I did which was on the Mish Beauty and I feel like that one kind of soaked into my hair a little more than this one is but I'm hoping with some heat or it might have been that I just used a little bit too much and I was heavy-handed that it will start to soak in but it is 
from first glance kind of just sitting on my hair right now but it definitely applied really good I would give it like an 8 out of 10 I feel like a 10 out of 10 application will always be my Aussie Moist now I know there's a bunch of silicones in it and that's why it feels amazing when it's applied to my hair but that's what I like I like that feeling I just like it but this definitely applied very smooth to my hair I did notice that since it's like it's not thick but you can definitely tell like, if you dip it upside down it's not coming out the jar but once you start to like rub it in your hand it's a very soft like kind of lightweight feeling but when I do add just a little bit of water to the sections I notice that it applies a lot smoother than when the sections are just damp so I definitely like that um, it helped with the application and yeah, so I'm going to finish the rest of my head, um, put on my shower cap, sit in the hood dryer for about 20 minutes. I might leave it in a little bit longer because I'm probably going to go out and get some food after that, you know, to eat because I'm kind of hungry. And then I'll rinse it out and I'll show you guys how my hair feels. And let's have our fingers crossed that it will be nice and smooth and soft. Yeah, I'm going to be back in probably two seconds for you, but probably about an hour and a half for me. <laughs> and we'll see how my hair looks. All right, bye guys. Hi guys, so I'm back and I rinsed the deep conditioner out of my hair. And I'm not even going to lie to you guys, that thing was in my hair probably for about two hours because I deep conditioned under my hooded dryer for about 20 minutes. Then I got dressed, got some food, came back, ate my food, relaxed a little bit. And then I realized that I needed more hair products <laughs> for the next video that I'm gonna do, which is like a wash and go. I'm gonna try to attempt a wash and go again. So I have to go to Sally's to pick up some more of my favorite Texture ID products. And then I came back and then I washed it out. So through all that, it probably was in my hair for between an hour and a half to two hours. So yeah, I only want to keep it in for 20 minutes to see how it works because some hair products say it should work within 20 minutes and I like to really test that because some hair products you have to leave on a little bit longer to get the full goodness so I feel like they're kind of lying a little bit. So I really want to just leave it in for 20 minutes but I was hungry and I had other stuff to do so it stayed in my hair for about two hours, an hour and a half, two hours, around that time. And let me tell you, this product right here, now I had high hopes for it because you know, you love Meg's, never lets me down. She hasn't let me down since relaxed days. Like most of the products that she likes, I love, except for that like ORS hair milk or something, the stuff we used to use to moisturize our hair all the time that it was like in a green bottle. I don't remember what it was. If I can find it, I'll link it, like put it on the screen, the name or whatever, but I didn't really like that. I didn't really like that, the stuff that she used to like moisturize and seal her hair, but everything else I've loved. So when she raved about this, I was like, okay, this gotta be, you know, a good product. And a lot of people rave about the Camille Rose natural products anyway. But this right here, it might give my Texture ID deep conditioner a run for its money. This was amazing. Like I said, when I applied it, it was all right. It wasn't nothing special when I applied, but when I rinsed this out, I wish you guys, I wish I could take you guys in the shower with me. Like I do have a GoPro and it's waterproof. So if I can like set up my GoPro in a way, I will next time. But this, like, I don't know if you can tell, but you probably can't tell on camera, but my twists are so, you can't tell because you can't tell softness, but they're so soft. My curls were clumping. I was like, yes, this is perfect. Especially because I want to do a wash and go now. But this product right here is like, let me show you guys this twist in the back. It is amazing. Like I definitely should have picked up some more products from that line, but it just, but I feel like my hair, you might not be able to tell, but it just looks and feels so soft. It was so manageable. Like this product definitely works. And I'm hoping next time I use it and I only leave it for 20 minutes, it works just as well. Like I hope it's not one of the products you have to leave in your hair like overnight or two to three hours for it to work because I don't like to do that every wash day. This was just a special occasion, but this is an A, A plus for me. Definitely like this product. I may be one of those people who definitely loves coconut anything because I tried another um, deep conditioner that had coconut oil and I'll link it like the Bella one up here and I love that deep conditioner and it was coconut based. So maybe my hair loves coconut for like deep conditioners. I don't know. But this feels amazing. So for me, it's A plus. I'm definitely going to be using it and I feel like I didn't even use that much of it. I feel like I still have a decent amount probably for at least four more uses out of this and it was on sale. You guys pretty much get it. I love it. I'm going to use it again. It's going to probably be one of my staple deep conditioners because it was definitely moisturizing and it has a little bit of protein in it at the bottom, hydrolyzed keratin, but that's like way, way at the bottom. So I definitely feel like this is a good moisturizing deep conditioner with like a 
hint of protein in it. The perfect, perfect combination. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you guys have ever used this product, if you guys have used any other Camille Rose products that you guys like, like any of their deep conditioners, because I know they have a lot of deep conditioners. Let me know, because I'm definitely probably going to go on like a Camille Rose Naturals binge on deep conditioners if they're all this amazing like this product. So yeah, I'll talk to you in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!